What's up guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to the channel, and also welcome back to me, right? I've been gone just as long as you guys have, and I wanted to start off by saying thank you all very much for all of the well wishes, all of the thoughts, all of the prayers, all of the positive energy that you guys sent to me in the last video. It meant a whole bunch, and I wanted to let you guys know the surgery that I had went very well, right? You can actually see uh, we've got the arm right here in this, uh, in this splint, so it's mostly immobilized. It's uh, really unable to be moved right now. So <laughs> we can't move the arm right now, but uh, we should be getting that off next week. So thank you guys very much. The surgery went very well. Uh, and all of the positive energy that you guys sent my way was very much appreciated. But we are back. We're feeling pretty good. And we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on in the markets overall, as well as what's going on with some specific stocks. You know, AMC has been running up GameStop. Sundial also has some news that's been coming out over the past couple of days that we haven't actually been covering as it's been coming out. So we're going to do a little uh, rerun of what's been going on with Sundial and some things even if just happened today. So there's a whole bunch going on. And we'll start off by talking about the fact that these meme stocks are running up, right? You can actually see on the chart right here, we've got AMC doing incredibly well over the past couple of days, hitting highs of 34. We're, we're taking a little bit of a pullback right now. And GameStop also hit highs of $199. So meme stocks and more risky stocks are actually starting to perform incredibly well over the past couple of days, right? This is very good uh, for not just the overall market, right? It's showing that people are taking more risky positions, but also that a lot of faith is starting to flow back into the market, which is something we definitely need. A lot of people have been very fearful over the past couple of weeks about all kinds of stuff about Russia, Ukraine, inflation, rising interest rates, all kinds of stuff have been scaring people out of the market. Finally, we're starting to see some positive uh, some positive energy move back into the market, specifically with those meme stocks. And not just the meme stocks, the S&P, SPY also closed at a high of $462, only down 4% off of the all-time highs. So impressive stuff, all things considered. Uh, the market's coming back, meme stocks are coming back, riskier stocks are coming back. You guys have probably noticed in your own portfolios, uh, especially if you've been buying the dip, you're probably up a decent amount from the lows, probably up quite significantly from the lows and, you know, that just goes to show oftentimes you're rewarded for buying the dip when a lot of people are running away, a lot of people are running out of the markets. When you're a net buyer, it can actually be pretty rewarding. Now, with Sundial, we've also got some interesting news. I know a lot of people are interested and curious about what's been going on with Sundial. So Sundial, they have made some announcements. One, they've announced that the Alcana acquisition will be closing March 31st, on or about March 31st. So as long as they don't change it on us. We're expecting something to come out tomorrow about the Alcana acquisition closing. Now, a lot of you guys were also probably expecting the earnings call and some stuff to happen with the legalization bill. So in terms of the earnings call, the earnings call, they actually ended up delaying until April 14th. And all things considered, I'm not too upset about that, right? I, I was out the past couple of days. I was out a decent amount of today, right? It's, it's only 1230 that I'm getting in. Uh, so, you know, I would have missed the earnings call had they not delayed it. So thank you, Sundial. That will be coming out April 14th. That will probably just give them some time maybe to include a lot of the Alcana information and a lot of Alcana's financial results potentially in Sundial's earnings call as well. Uh, so we're expecting probably a decent earnings call from them. Now, all in all, they might have slowed down a little bit with their future growth projections because of supply chain issues stemming from Russia and Ukraine. A lot of fertilizers produced in Russia and Ukraine and, uh, that could cause some future earnings slowdowns for Sundial, right? If they're paying a lot more for fertilizer, but all things considered, the future is looking pretty bright, especially considering the fact that we've got a big legalization bill coming through the House. And we've also got some stuff happening in the Pennsylvania Senate. So first things first, obviously, the legalization bill has not been voted on yet. A bunch of politicians are just sending in amendments to this legalization bill, right? They're just you know how it is with politicians, right? Everyone wants their two cents included in the bill, and uh, the going gets very slow when everyone wants that to happen. So a bunch of amendments are being proposed, and eventually they will vote on this bill, right? But they have to do a committee review before they actually do that. So right now, they're just in the process of amending it. And, you know, the government's slow. We don't actually know exactly when this bill is going to get voted on, but probably sometime relatively soon is what I would expect. Now, regardless of what happens with the MORE Act, that bill that would be legalizing cannabis in the House. We've also got Pennsylvania senators approving a cannabis banking protection bill. So regardless, we're seeing massive support, not just in the House and the Senate, but also in the states and among the population for cannabis legalization. All in all, it's looking like a very positive situation 
for the odds that we end up getting cannabis legalized. And obviously, that would be very beneficial for Sundial stock price, right? So we're looking at a good situation for Sundial. We've got some exciting catalysts coming up soon. Tomorrow is Alcana uh, and April 14th, the earnings call. And we've also got the bill in the House. We've got some uh, senators in Pennsylvania passing a Banking Regulations Act for cannabis. So all things considered, we're looking at, like we're in a pretty good way, right? The market's coming back. Uh, meme stocks are running again, which is very good. Sundial was a meme stock. And so all things are really pointing in a very positive direction. That's just my opinion. Obviously, it's not financial advice. That's just what I'm thinking about the situation as it stands right now. And uh, that's just what I wanted to get across. Some of the points, some of the things that have been happening lately. So if you guys appreciate that, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. We'll probably be doing a lot more updates like this just while the arm is uh, is taking some time to heal a little bit less uh, on the computer side of things. Just a little bit more talking to the camera uh, just for the next little bit. So other than that, guys, if you appreciate this update, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And other than that, keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. I'm not recommending anyone do anything with money. I'm just letting you guys know what's going on in the market. So other than that, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.